Hey guys, Michael here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a custom countdown timer to your emails, um, which is a very good way to introduce some urgency and ultimately push people that were not so sure to finally finish that purchase. Overall, adding urgency to your offers makes them more appealing. If you send an email today and someone opens it tomorrow, and it says like two hours left, um, this will likely push that person to make an impulse buy, especially if your products are in the low to medium price range. And um, also looking at the world of email marketing, research from one study um, found that emails that had countdown timers generate 1.7 times more revenue per recipient than emails without countdown timers. Now, I know what you're thinking. This doesn't mean that you should add timers to every single email. Don't be stupid. Use this sparingly and use it at specific times. And this can be very effective. All right, so the first instance is the so-called delivery based countdown timers now we as humans are naturally impatient when we buy something we don't want to wait a month a week even a couple of days we want it right now we also know very well that if we place an order at midnight it's not gonna arrive the next day so it makes a lot of sense to tell shoppers how long they have to take advantage of next day delivery. Now, this is particularly helpful uh, during peak shopping uh, season, for example, Christmas, uh, when orders absolutely must arrive by a specific date. And the great thing about delivery-based countdowns is that the fear of missing out on a purchase is all the motivation that you, uh, that you need to seal, that, to seal the deal, which means that uh, you don't need to offer a discount potentially so you can try this tactic with the countdown timer before you throw another uh, discount code at them now let's look at some examples okay this is the first example of an email from chubbies and they added a countdown timer to an email which does the exact thing that I just described. So it tells people that they have, let's say two hours um, to qualify for overnight shipping. So if you set this up correctly on Klaviyo, this could be a very effective email. Another one is from uh, Greetable. Yeah, they, they added um, a countdown timer for their holiday sale. And basically, you know, pushing people to finish their orders if they want to get it, get them on time. And finally, the body shop. Um, again, a holiday reminder. So it's actually two in one. So it's urging people to order by tonight for holiday delivery. Express shipping free and then 25% off gifts and tonight ends tonight too so this is a, this is actually a very well structured offer it's like three in one the second instance in which you can use countdown timers is to use them for sales that you're running so you can add a timer that shows people how how much time they have left before a sale ends or you can add a timer that shows people uh, when a sale starts. Some brands use countdowns to drum up interest ahead of major sales events like Black Friday and Cyber Monday, which compels shoppers to register um, for early access and to secure exclusive discounts. So let's look at some examples. Okay, the first example is from Flat Tummy. Here you can see 30% off, last chance for sale pricing. They've got three hours. 
some copy in here and pushing people to order next one is from Sunski pretty simple 25% off site wide last chance and then here is one for Black Friday from the Diamond Store. Okay, maybe it's time to finally show you how to create and add countdown timers to your email. Okay, so we're gonna start by typing in send, send trick into Google. Send trick is a free way to create custom countdown timers and add them to your emails without an annoying watermark. So you go to the Send Trick website, you click on the first link. Here's how it looks like. You have to type in your email address. Next, you have to select your time zone. And, and you have to select when does it end. So for example, maybe it ends tomorrow at 3 a.m is a weird hour to be honest maybe let's end it at uh yeah 11 55 not 12 11 55 okay at 12. um you can change the background the labels and the digits obviously use your brand colors here for the sake of simplicity i'm just going to use black so this is our nice little timer okay so we copy the code we head to Clavio. this is a brand new dummy account i created so we create a new campaign for example it could be added to flows campaigns whatever you like we create a campaign just call it whatever um oops okay main list whatever main list it's only me anyway so now we're waiting for it to open the editor click on drag and drop let's select some whatever random sale template okay so you've got this pretty basic sale template and let's say we want to add a timer right maybe just maybe just below this thing over here we click on the text block then we go to the source code we delete whatever is in here and we paste our code okay and there you have it we've got our beautiful countdown timer in here which um, now looking at it I would probably change it to some other color probably similar to this one just to make it on brand but you know this is just for the sake of showing you how to do it so this is it guys quick simple and easy tutorial i just wanted to give you uh, a few ideas about using countdown, countdown timers in your email marketing show you a few examples and then give you a step-by-step -step, um, breakdown of how to create it and add it to your emails so uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment. I'll make sure to get back to you. And I'll see you in the next video.